Hi, my name is Jan Visser, I work at the Electrolab and today I'm going to show you what you can do with the Alex laser software. Alex Cam laser is a 2.5 watt laser engraver. You can engrave on wood or other things. I've made a few samples like these and I'm going to show you how to do it. I've downloaded the software and I'm going to open it. There's all kinds of tips and tricks inside. Okay, as you can see here, there's a lot going on on the screen. There's, uh, you can do a pick carve, you can do a text carve, so you can engrave text. You can load your own G-code if you can generate it or write it even. There's a start button, there's a pause button, you can do a preview. You can control the laser on, weak, that's the downsize of the laser on. And here we have some controls. With these controls we can move the Alex laser forward and of course backward. And to the X position and minus X position, right and left. And we can set a home point here. First we have to establish the port. So if you click on port, now there's nothing attached because this is a demo. But if you click on port, normally it says COM5, COM6 or so. Just refresh it and if it's attached, it will find it. As we see here, you can adjust the speed. I can adjust the speed here. For instance, I can go to 2000 millimeters per minute or I can even go to uh, 3000 millimeters per minute and it defines uh, how fast the laser is moving forwards and backwards. For now we go and set it to 2000. That's fairly standard. If you if you pull up on this you can see what the maximum the maximum is 3000 millimeters per minute. Okay. Sport T 20 it's a single point uh, times and you can repeat uh, on the same point point if you have some text you can repeat it well, 10 times or so if you want to repeat it to get it darker so for instance in wood you can input your own G code here and then you can send it to the machine or you can clear it We have the configuration, this must be plus, and this is the acceleration, so you can define that also. It's, I didn't use it for this example, but please experiment with it so you see what it is. Here you can select a machine, you select the Alex Maker Laser, and then you have the right machine. machine. Here, here you can reset the ROM that's inside. Um, this is very important here. You can see here, this is a thousand. It's, uh, it is the um, how much the laser does engrave. So the strength or the weakness of the laser. We have, you see here, this is the full power. This is the weak laser. So you can, you can adjust this one. For instance, if I set the laser here to, for instance, 500 or so, then the laser is half as strong. And here you can see the 3D viewer, which, not, which is not activated at, at the moment. And the operation lock. You can see here the running time, and you can see here uh, what it does. And you can see here the G-code as it uh, is processing. Uh, you can also have some pictures here, some standard pictures which you can use. And there's some nice pictures in it if you want to use that or want to experiment with that. It's very nice to experiment with, with it. Just pick one and then experiment with different settings of the software. So, there's a lot of these in, uh, in here. So, But you can also put your own BMPs, bitmap files, in here and you can use them.
as you can see here, you can upload uh, JPEG files, you can upload bitmap files, and you can upload SVG files. A GIF is not supported yet, maybe in the future. Okay, well, let's start here. I did uh, I did, the, did these uh, Electro logos with different uh, sizes and different, uh, not different sizes, but different uh, routings. I'm going to show you practically how it's done. How did I do that? Of course, I go to pick carve, I select pick carve, and then I see, okay, this was the one I picked. What can we do with this? Well, we can adjust the effect. Uh, this is a black and white uh, piece, so it's no use to uh, to adjust the effect. But I did um, th I did a picture like this, and then you can adjust the effect. You can also adjust the effect by uh, diminishing, uh, uh, minimalizing the laser to uh, maybe 2,500 or so, or uh, 500, for instance. Uh, but you can also adjust it with speed. So this is an additional effect. Normally it's set somewhere in the middle here. Okay. What else is there to do? Here you can select a file folder or something. But on this side here, you can just twist it or mirror image it or put it on the side, whatever you want. If you click it uh, twice, then it selects it again back. So this is uh, turned around, so what black is becomes white and what white uh, should be becomes black. Okay. Okay, as you can see, it adjusts the height automatically. Here's my speed again, so I can I can do the speed set to 2000. And on this side, I can choose a real point. Please watch this sector, because when I change this, also this changes. For instance, here I can adjust the how many lines each millimeter has. So I can, if, if it is one, that it draws only one line per millimeter. Two, two lines per millimeter, and so on, of course. The higher you put this number, the longer it takes to uh, burn your, or engrave your logo. Uh, I think I made the first one on two. Yeah. And here you can choose a line by line or a folded line. Uh, with a folded line it's a bit faster and it pulls back and draws the other line like this. And with the line by line it draws just one line, just one line, just one line. Okay, uh, please experiment with that. Okay, we have the outline done, uh, especially with text, it does only the outline. Then I can uh, generate it and what the program does now is it, it generates the G-code. Well, the next uh, thing that we can do is, of course, we can uh, adjust the setting or we can adjust the speed here. The speed was the way I set it at 2000, but I still can adjust it here. So I can adjust the speed even if I do it uh, once or twice. So I can vary uh, at, at least a few times to get uh, the best result. Okay, now I set my device home, so I, I home it, and then I know, I know where the laser is, and I just start engraving. And we have here the start button, and start, you can also pause it, 
and this is a very nice trick uh, I used it recently you can pause it and then you see here continue if you if you press stop it stops and well it homes again and you have to start all over again for instance if you see on the first line it's getting too dark you can just use stop or um, pause you can use pause and then go to your uh, settings either you uh, set your speed for instance to 3000 so you have 50% um, more speed and if that's not enough you can go to settings and if you see well it's getting very dark and you uh, can also adjust your laser power just put it halfway and if you then push continue it goes on again so it finishes the picture or the logo or the bitmap or the file that you are running on okay that was it for pick carving pick engraving picture engraving and now we'll go to the engraving of text okay as you can see here you can put your own text in and uh, here's a lot of uh, well, let's try this one and as you can see here I also did a lot of these those in various uh, settings so please ex experiment with it find out what's uh, what's right for your wood or for your uh, letter or whatever you are uh, you are uh, engraving on and please send us some pictures nice electrolabs so this is my first uh, writing and I can choose here a lot of fonts so you can see here okay well I'm familiar with Arial so I'll use that and you can see here uh, each millimeter how many lines well, that's a bit a uh, bit much but you can see you can go up to 19 if you are carving in uh, engraving in wood that's a bit much okay then the points you can adjust that as you wish but normally I'll put it uh, on this one okay what can we do next here uh, this is now 13 uh, centimeters uh, long and 5 uh, centimeters high so I can adjust it okay how about this okay here you can also again adjust the speed and here we can adjust the text carving mode so we can go for a single text we can go for an outline text and if you click on this you'll see that also in this area here there's some changes see here real text you can adjust the lines and you can have point text and then you have to fill in also something in here usually it's on 4 I, ke I kept it there but please try to experiment ok uh, the first one I did in uh, single text and again it's here as you can see here there's electrolabs written here in the middle of my screen ok at first of course I adjust this one because I was in control speed is here you can adjust that from 0 to 3000 millimeters per minute and 
it's the same here you can start and if you see it's too heavy or too dark or it's uh, too much wood burning then just pause it and you can adjust it Okay, now I can continue. I hope you enjoyed this video. I try watching our video channel on Electro TV. So, see you next time. Experiment with it and good luck. Thanks.